Catán México, el chamaco, Silverio. Oh. Oh. Con los pantaloncillos negros y un peso de 145 libras. Frankie, the pitbull. Go. You know what I expect. Touch gloves. Good luck. We get ready to go. Sees the the battle to himself, and it's himself. Well, Beto, we have to be honest about this. Nice. He was taken off of the HBO show for coming in six pounds over. We're not harping on this huge fight, a Canelo Alvarez fight. That was for the. Uh, uh, that was on the undercard of the coach. Between the brass at Golden Boy and the training staff of Gomez. And you guys, you hear Freddie Roach saying his best weight would be 140. And he believes that Gomez has the ability to win a major world title. Gomez, the pit bull with some heavy shots landed to the face of the veteran 33-year-old. I tell you what, there's no question that Ortiz is the kind of fighter who will take a hard shot like Remember this. when he was signed with much fanfare back in 2010, had a very short amateur career. Done. Golden Boy wanted him, obviously. He's local. He's East L.A. Shares a birthday with Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Right. Championships. Uh, but very precocious. He did so as a 17-year-old. Right, and he had a very strong showing. Well, I, there's there's some criticism because, um, obviously, Amir Khan is not a middle. Back to the greatest Prescott knockout, the Danny Garcia knockout. Uh, I th think this fight becomes interesting when we get into the middle of the late rounds. Doug, I have it just like small town. If it sounds familiar, well, this well, right here we're in Indio. Frankie the Pitbull Gomez from East LA. But I don't care. I know he's got power because, but I've been in against people. I have experience. And he Morales was preparing for his uh, epic first fight against Jose Luis. The, the balance, not very fast, but his technique on his punch. We get going. Doug Gomez, well, I Saturday think, is night. pitching a shadow, but I think strategically it's key as he's taking a bit of a shellacking here in the corner. Angles sometimes, so sometimes he can catch guys um, with punches that they don't see. Good Science, luck. say that Frankie was telling him that he basically lacked right, yeah. at the junior welterweight limit, and I think he'll have more power. I, I, I see a trick. Yeah. As Manny Pacquiao prepares for his next fight, there's talk of... ...by February 14th, and the first month of that camp for Pacquiao, will take place in the forged a great legacy see how he prepares see how he trains you know doug you talked about a stylistic nightmare for a lot of fighters tall guy the very talented terence crawford and he it's kind of what he's, he's doing yes he's doing that and he, he started doing it in the last round really sound as he needs to be to really reach that world-class status yeah and, and i think he's been very undisciplined and one of the ways you mitigate that is just simply schedule them a lot i, I 25 fights and blood is flying right here. Our section in the wear on his face. Frankie Gomez, the pit bull in black trunks, designed by a famed artist. That Ortiz was able to stop Silva's because he could. He's it against Silva. Wasn't in the best shape. He's looking really good right now as he, as he pressed. And uh, by by next fight, we'll be right on track. He's how do I feel? This guy's leaning over. He's wide open. That upper guy. I'm looking for him to throw that. Oh, Gomez work. 30 seconds ago in the sixth. Also affecting the oxygen that um, Ortiz is, is, a, is able to get. How's that? How much wear on the 23 year old? He's been, he's not that kind of an orthodox yeah. boxer. You see him swim and then come over with a hook. And that can be from either stance. You can see the don't, I'm going to stop this fight because you can't take this. You can't absorb punishment. The referee, um, Eddie Hernandez, is watching closely. The ringside physician is the eighth round. I don't see this fight being close or any. I think it's pretty much a shutout. And at this point. Ortiz in the white with gold trunks. Blood has been coming down his nose since the Jeez. third round. That Putting his punches together. Ooh. There's still a lot of speed and a lot of power behind those punches. Right. Big shot landed by Frankie the Pitbull Gomez, East LA fighter. Trying now that right eye is really swelling up. Oh. Uh, that's right. This front hip area. Got to stretch out that IT band, Dougie. You know yeah. that. I really don't see any reason for him to come out for round 10, Steve. Doug agreed. Yeah, on. absolutely. I think it's been, I, and again, I think as the rounds have gone on. Overhand right from the pit bull. Ortiz. 
Baby. Former head matchmaker with uh, the birthday boy, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Just turned uh, 43. With the very elite at 140, probably not. I, I think. Oh, oh, good Upper combination. Cut landed by now. Another right hand eaten by Ortiz. The punishment being inflicted by oh, Silverio Ortiz showed a lot of heart and battled with them, but it wasn't enough. Still undefeated, Frankie the Pitbull.